it's time for a DigiKey unboxing. Let's take a look at a discovery kit with an STM32N657X0MCU from ST Microelectronics. It highlights the performance, efficiency, and versatility of the MCU in Edge AI applications. So let's get started. Inside the box, you'll find the main evaluation board with an LCD daughter board pre-attached, an ST Mod Plus fan out board for hardware expansion, a camera module, plus mounting screws and a flex cable for the camera module. On the back of the board, you can see the STM32N657X0MCU, which features an 800MHz ARM Cortex M55 core, ST600 GOPS Neural Art AI Accelerator, a Neochrom GPU, a computer vision pipeline, extensive connectivity interfaces, and much more. The discovery kit also adds 32 megabytes of PS RAM and 128 megabytes of flash. In this demo, we're going to run through a couple of the example applications that are preloaded on the discovery kit, showcasing the AI and GPU acceleration. We'll start by installing the camera. Insert the flex cable into the camera connector on the bottom of the main board, and then into the connector on the bottom of the camera board. Then use the included standoffs to mount the camera board to the main board. We can also attach the expansion board to the ST Mod Plus connector on the right, but we won't be using it for these examples. Plug a USB Type C power supply into the ST Link USB C port on the right. The board will boot into its preloaded examples, and we're going to start with the AI Computer Vision application, which leverages the camera over a MIPI CSI2 interface, the ISP, and ST's Neural Art Accelerator to detect people and poses. Next, we're going to show the Compass demo, which uses the touchscreen input to rotate a colored bitmap. We can turn the Neochrom GPU on and off, and on the right side, you can see the CPU load and frame rate. With the GPU off, the CPU load is around 75 to 80 percent, while the frame rate is around 20 FPS. When we turn the GPU on, we hit 60 FPS or more with a CPU load of about 5 percent or less, giving us great graphics performance while freeing up the CPU to be responsive to inputs or other tasks. Thanks for watching.